The Retro Station K14. Is this the best Android box? Let's find out with an unboxing. So just gonna open it very carefully. Careful, careful, and it looks like it's from China anyway. But whatever, it's a Retro Station. Retro Station? Uh, yeah, it's a Retro Station. So we've got boxes of information about this Android box. Back to the future, let's open her up. Inside we've got this nice, uh, what? Contract? Okay, maybe not a contract, but how to turn it on and off and how to use RetroArch shortcuts. Now for the controllers. We got these PlayStation 3 clones. Not the worst of ad, but very light. And, oh, free gunk. Mmm, gunk. And we get a remote control. So for the main event, let's check out this retro station. Shamelessly ripped off the PlayStation logo, but who cares? Question is, can it match the quality of Sony? As you've already guessed by now, it is just a sticker. If we flip it over, we can see what's inside. Look closely. It's an X96 Max Plus with two gigabytes of RAM. Let's have a quick skim around the sides. Micro SD, don't know what them things at the bottom are. USB 2, USB 3, infrared, AV, Ethernet, HD, optical, yeah. Power adapter. This one is five volts, two amps. You also get the HDMI cable. So, specs. CPU, GPU, not a bad pairing, but we'll have to see what it looks like in the testing later on. There's Android 9 there if you need it, but we'll be using the MULX 3.9, which is on the micro SD. Let's see what she looks like. Inside. Uh. In inside. System is passively cooled. Silent. This piece of chewing gum here dissipates the heat from the CPU to that sheet of metal you just saw earlier. It's the S905X3. We're greeted with Emulation Station. Usual stuff you see in uh, RetroPie. Many systems. It's going to take a while to get through all of these. Ooh, Game & Watch. Virtual Boy, <laughs> hey. A Thomas Wave. Naomi. A few game collections at the end. Batman, Castlevania. In settings, we can change the video output and the aspect ratio. Also, if you want bezels, controller settings, we can even change themes. Looking through the games, most are scraped, so we've got screenshots for everyone. Let's see how well each of these systems perform. Game on.
Amiga runs pretty well. Games that slow down the system, such as Jim Power, run around 43. This is a hair below the Raspberry Pi 4. Playable with frame skip 1. Selected Mega Man 3 from the menu, I got some hack. N64, kind of blurry. Blurry I64.
Don't know why they put this on. Pro Evolution 4 hack, PES 2020, at over 400 megabytes. If you hook up the system to your home network, you can copy over games. Here's Ridge Racer Revolution. I've not seen one system run this emulator with this game perfectly. I also put some ISOs in the PSP folder. This one's Wipeout Pure. Performance seems a hair faster than the Pi 4. From 32 to 35 FPS at the start here. If you turn on frame skip to 1, it's playable. Tekken 6 here, similar, get about 50 FPS, turning on frame skip, much more enjoyable. Also in the menu if you push start, check out the game selection settings, some things are hidden like ports, the settings menu. So just flicking this over, we can actually play Doom, Cave Story, and a few others. From settings menu, you can even install Drastic, the DS emulator. Throw a few DS games on. Bish bosh. You can see from this testing that it nudges ahead of the Super Console X and it can trade blows with the Pi 4. Arcade games such as Bubble Bubble, Tekken 3, and also World Cup 98 were a no-go. So many games, you can't really check them all. But the classics were missing. For the PlayStation, no Ridge Racer, Wipeout, Tomb Raider, and no Scum games. At least we can change the menu if we need to via the network. Wait a minute, I've seen this, I've seen this theme before. Oh, oh no. It's completely ripped off! It's Artflix! And why doesn't it say MULEC? Anywhere! Why doesn't FTP work? Isn't this just a rebranded MULEC with ROM slapped on? Yes. That's what it is. With a sticker on it, it's a retro monkey. Is it competitive? Very. Best loaded Android box for the money? Maybe. Best bang for buck? You decide. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you around. Brilliant!